I'm always fascinated by how startups prototype early and what they're testing. So what was like the first version, uh, your first prototype? How did you test it and how'd that go? One thing that is unique to Winborn is that we had about like five years of prototyping before forming a company. And so had we just met at Stanford and said, let's build long duration balloons and try to form a company then, there's no way we could have gotten off the ground uh, while supporting the overhead of a business because we had to figure out so many things over the course of the first five years while we were you know, messing around as students. One of the biggest things that has changed is how hard these things were to build. Back in the early days, um, these could take literally months to assemble a single one. Now we're able to produce more than 100 a month. And so uh, I think the very first design was a giant beach ball shape because we had to keep all of the electronics insulated. Um, it, it looked absurd, like a giant flying cabbage. And uh, as time went on, we figured out how to apply more and more innovations in consumer electronics to this system, shrink it down, make it more powerful, make it more performant. And yeah, it's come a long way since I had to uh, literally use my belt to uh, tie two parts of a balloon together right before a launch because we didn't have a rope. Is that when you changed the name from Flying Cabbage to Windborn? <laughs> <laughs> the original name was uh, Valbal, short for Valve and Ballast. Um, but we really liked the name Windborn, which uh, Andre came up with um, because to us, it was so meaningful, this idea of these are systems that operate naturally in the atmosphere. They're not submarines, they're fish. <laughs>